Welcome back to our series, I'm in Trouble. We are learning some important ways that we can handle the trouble that comes our way. I have a question for you. Have you ever had to wait on something? What are some things that you just hate to wait on? Being patient is certainly not an easy thing. It is especially hard to be patient when you are going through trouble. All you want to do is get it all over with so you can move past it, right? It's especially hard to wait on God when you're in trouble. Well, having patience in the midst of trouble is what we are going to learn about today. Let's get ready to learn all about patience by checking out this video. Welcome back, boys and girls, to another episode I'm Bro, in. Bro, come on, can we hurry up, please? Uh, well, that wasn't very nice. Uh, sorry, I guess, or whatever. I have things to do. Well, so do we. Yeah, mister, I gotta go to the town and get me a new set of teeth. I'm gonna get these from a walrus. You gotta go to the grocery store and get some cream corn. Mm, they're so creamy. And I must work on my next experiment, turning my neighbor Jeff into a bunny rabbit. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Why would you turn your neighbor into a bunny rabbit? No, one, uh, bunnies are cute. Aww. And two, I do not like him. Mondays, right? So, yeah, can't you see we're all really busy? Can we wrap this up, please? Now, hold on a second, guys. Today's lesson is really important, and you need to hear it. Like I was trying to say forever ago before I was interrupted, I'm Josh, <laughs> and you're watching I'm in Trouble. And we're learning about, in the Bible, how God can help us through tough situations. Now, if you're anything like me, or these other guys. Hi, I'm another guy. You may have trouble waiting for something or patience. Maybe you're going through a hard time and it's taking forever to get through. Like this video, come on. Easy there, Gordy, I'm gonna take your Wi-Fi away. But, well, that's not fair. Well, there's a guy in the Bible that went through something that didn't seem fair either. His name was Job. I think it's pronounced Job. No, it's Job. Job. Uh, Job. Say it with me, Job. 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 Jabroski. Jerome. Job. Job. Jehoshaphat! Jingleheimer Schmidt, his name is my name too. Job. His name was Job. That's what I said. Job had a very difficult life. He lost everything. The bad times in his life just didn't seem to stop. In fact, they just got worse and worse. So what does Job do? What should we do when the hard times in life never seem to end? You're gonna find out in today's lesson. So are we like done now? I hope you guys enjoyed today's lesson all about patience. It's worth the wait. Uh, dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> what? I tell you joke about pizza, but it's super cheesy. <laughs> Whoa, Grandpa joke. Oh. And my patience is just about wore out. Bye. Well, now I want pizza. Being patient while you are in the middle of trouble is one of the hardest things to learn. Sometimes we want to take things into our own hands and try to fix the problem ourselves. Other times we want to get mad at God and blame him for taking too long to rescue us from our trouble. You're going to find out more in our lesson, but right now we need to find out what you gotta know. What you gotta know. What you gotta know. What you gotta My name is Wiggy Pop, and I'm here to have a rockin' time teaching you what you gotta know. Today, we're talking about how God will help you if you are patient during trouble. So every time today you hear somebody ask you what you gotta know, you tell them this. If I'm patient while I'm stressed, then I know I'll be blessed. This is taking forever. When will this be over? I can't take all this stress and trouble anymore. Whoa, whoa, calm down. I can't calm down, I can't, ah! You've got to relax, man. 
We have to be patient through our trouble. We have to wait on God and believe that He will help us through our troubled times. So every time today you hear somebody ask you what you got to know, you tell them this. If I'm patient while I'm stressed, then I know I'll be blessed. That right there is what you got to know. My name is Wiggy Pop, and I'll see you next time. Rock on! Today's Bible story is found in the book of Job. It's the story of a man named Job who loved God with all of his heart. Job was a very blessed man. He was very rich. He had many servants and cattle and possessions. But Satan was not happy with the fact that Job always trusted God, no matter what. He asked God for permission to test Job. Satan said, if Job lost all that he has, then he probably wouldn't trust you as much. And God knew that Job was a man of strong faith. So he allowed Satan to test Job. One afternoon, Job was sitting quietly and minding his own business. All of a sudden, he saw one of his servants running toward him. Job stood up, listened to the message the servant brought him. The servant said, Some men came in from the desert and killed all of your servants and ran off your cattle. I am the only one who survived. Then Job received the news that all of his children died when a building collapsed on them. His children, his cattle, and all of his possessions were taken from him, all in the same day. Now, if you're going to talk about a time of trouble, that is definitely trouble. And to make matters worse, Satan struck Job with sores all over his body. They hurt. They were terrible. They were super painful, and they would not go away. Job's wife told him, you might as well give up your faith in God. In fact, why don't you just curse God and die? Not only did Job lose everything, but his wife even turned against him. His trouble just kept getting worse. With all of those horrible things happening, you would probably expect Job to have this attitude and be pretty angry with God, right? You really wouldn't blame him if he was angry or impatient and maybe even turned against God just like Satan wanted him to do. After all, I would say that this was probably the worst day of his life. But Job did not lose patience. In fact, he did the opposite. Job spoke up and said, even if God kills me, I will still trust him. Job decided that his attitude was not going to depend on how things were going. He chose to have a good attitude and be patient with God. He didn't complain or lose faith. He chose to honor God, and God chose to honor Job's patience. God healed him of his sores and gave him back twice as much wealth and possessions as he had before. Today, we are going to learn that we can be just like Job. Even when things are going badly, you have to choose to have a good attitude and be patient even when there's trouble. Thank you, thank you, oh yes! So wonderful to have you, please hold your applause. You may be seated, oh thank you, so wonderful. Now, welcome back. I am the actor, and I am perhaps the greatest method actor of all time. And I'm not acting when I say that. Now, boys and girls, I do believe that you could perhaps be the greatest method actor of all. Oh, let's be serious. You'd probably never be as good as me. But anyways, I can help you out. All you need to do is learn today's power verse using method acting. Haha, -ha. today's power verse says, God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. James 1.12. What a wonderful, fantastic power verse. Now, if there's one thing I've learned as the greatest method actor of all times, it's that the best way to memorize your lines, or the power verse in this instance, is to do it in character. So let's find out what today's character shall be. Let's see. Ah, yes! 
Yes, today's character, it says it's a goat with a goat tea. Haha, <laughs> I see what they did there. But they didn't do it because I made that up. Acting, thank you. <laughs> today's real character is an opera singer. So I need everyone to get out your opera voices and sing the power verse with me on the count of three. One, or do this, two, three. God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. James, one, three. Acting, thank you. That was fantastic, boys and girls. But I must be going. I think I hear my bus is leaving. Okay, goodbye, boys and girls. Exit stage left. Is it this way? I don't know where left is. Today we are talking about patience. Patience is not an easy thing to have, is it? Right? We don't like to wait on things. We don't want our computers to go slow. We want them to be fast so that we don't have to wait. Or like when we go in the car, we don't want there to be traffic or anything else. We want our cars to go fast so we don't have to wait. Or when we wake up in the morning and our mom and our dad or our brother and our sister are in the bathroom, we want them to hurry up so that we can get there as quickly as possible and not wait. And Job taught us that bad days are going to happen. There's no way to avoid trouble. Things are going to go wrong. Your hair is probably going to get messed up. People are probably going to get mad at you for one thing or another. Things are not always going to go the way that we want them to go. A lot of people think that when you become a Christian, you end up having a perfect life. But it's not that simple. Problems come to Christians just like they come to everybody else. I wish I could tell you that the moment you ask Jesus in your heart, everything is going to be so perfect, but that's not true. Job certainly proves that even godly people have trouble every once in a while. Jesus said in John 16, in this world you will have trouble. And even Jesus had bad days. There were days that people treated him unfairly. There were days when his own disciples disobeyed him and turned their backs on him. Ultimately, he was beaten and nailed to a cross, even though he was innocent. He didn't do anything wrong. Talk about a bad day. But something that we need to realize is that your attitude, my attitude, our attitudes are a choice. Many people try to blame their bad attitude on other people. They say, well so-and-so made me do it, or they might say something like, well, if this didn't happen, then I'd have a better attitude today. Basically, they're saying that they have no control over their own attitude and that everything is determined by somebody else. The truth is, though, that our attitude is our choice. Nobody can choose our attitudes for us. Imagine this. There's a little boy that's sitting down in church when his mom tells him, okay, you have to stand up. And he replies that, okay, mom, but I'd rather sit down. She says, you have to stand up. And he finally decides, okay, I'm going to stand up. But mom, I may be standing up on the outside, but I'm sitting down on the inside. His mom could make him obey to stand up but she could not choose his attitude for him. On the inside, he still had a bad attitude. Your attitude is your choice. You may not get to choose whether or not you have trouble in life, but you get to choose whether or not you face the trouble that you're having with patience. So if you want to make the right choice every day, you have to choose to have a right attitude. You must patiently wait for God to act. Did Job end up getting impatient and angry with God when he was going through his trouble? No. Did he let his wife determine his attitude when he was going through trouble? No. Instead, Job waited patiently on God. He knew that God was still on his side. He knew that God didn't leave him 
in his trouble at all. He waited patiently, keeping the right attitude. So what did God do for Job? God came through, and that's what happened. God blessed him for his patience. He was rewarded with more than he even had before all of this trouble started. Isn't that cool? That even though it's not easy to always have the right attitude, things, good things can still come out of it. God wants us to make the right choice and to choose to have a godly attitude. That we need to be patient and wait for God to do what only he can do. It's that easy? No, it's not that easy. But when God helps us, he can make it easier to walk through. Let's go ahead and pray. Jesus, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for the way that you see us through good times and bad times. And Jesus, today, that, today we are asking that when we go through trouble, when we go through hard times, when we go through times that we make hard, that you help us to be patient, to be patient to wait for you, to have a good attitude even when things are hard to go through. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey guys, I have a quick announcement to make. We are going to pause on Masterpiece Kids Online, but we hope to see you in person soon. Thank <laughs> you.